Begin by using the provided wrench to remove the security bracket from each side. Remove the cable ties and bubble wrap to free the power cables. Connect each cable to its labeled socket on the electrical cabinet. Press firmly until each cable clicks in place. To adjust the angle of the machine, loosen the four security bolts on each side to reduce the tension on the plates. Once the plates have been loosened, you can pull the working surface to the desired angle. Then, holding the machine angle in place, retighten the bolts on each side and attach the ratchet handles on each angle bracket. To adjust the angle at any time, repeat these steps, loosening and tightening the eight tension bolts and two ratchet handles. To set the height of the table, use the provided scissor jack. First, put the jack in place with tension on the lower bar. It's important that the jack be in place to support the weight of the machine before loosening the bolts that hold the table in place. Loosen the eight tension bolts, left, right, front, and back and then operate the jack to reach the desired height. Retighten the tension bolts to hold the height in place. When operating in a vertical position, the table height can be adjusted further by loosening the bolts under the table and sliding the machine upward to the next J bracket. When positioning the machine near a wall, be sure to leave sufficient clearance for the electrical cables to move freely. When you are satisfied with the position of the machine, Rotate the four feet to prevent it from rolling freely on the casters. You can also use these feet to level the stand. Connect the air regulator gauge using the two push valve connections. The appropriate lines are labeled 1 and 2 to match the labels on the two connectors. Slide the regulator in place so the gauge shows through the front of the machine and tighten the nut to hold it in place. The remaining air line connects to the air regulator mounted on the stand. The machine comes with a brass fitting to connect to whichever user-supplied air fitting matches your air line. Connect the main air supply line to this fitting and plug into your air supply. The machine needs a minimum of 6 bar and a maximum of 7 bar. The regulator dial allows adjustment of pressure. Use the supplied Allen wrench to remove the three shipping brackets from the gantry. Plug the electrical cabinet into an outlet with the appropriate voltage. This machine takes a standard 120 volt outlet. The machine needs to have its own dedicated circuit. The provided USB cable is used to connect the computer to the electrical cabinet. To power on the machine, check the gauge near the cutting head to make sure there is air pressure. If the emergency stop button is engaged, twist clockwise to release it. Then power on the electrical cabinet. You'll hear the fan operating and the gantry will lock in place as the motors take hold. The vStudio software dongle needs to be connected via USB to operate the software. In this test, we'll click Create, select a rectangle opening, and click Send to Cut. The first time we click Cut in the SmartCut program, the software will ask for an activation code. If the computer is connected to the internet, you can click Get Your Key to automatically activate the software. If your computer doesn't have internet access, just call customer service at 888-293-3947 for help with retrieving your activation code. Now for a test cut. First, we'll need to add a blade to our cutting head. Starting with the green 40 degree cutting head, loosen the blade screw. Insert an L100 blade all the way in and all the way to the left, and retighten the screw to hold the blade in place. In the Create section on the vStudio software, we'll enter a material size of 32 by 40. Click a rectangle opening, and set its size to 3 inches by 5 inches. We'll click the checkbox on the right and make a second layer, offset by a quarter inch. We'll change the cut type from Normal to V-Groove. Then click Send to Cut, which opens up the Smart Cut window. For material type, we'll select 4-ply crescent mat board and click the Cut button. The software will prompt us to load the material. 
When we press Start on the software, the clamps will engage to hold the mat board in place. The software now tells us we need the green 40 degree cutting head, with the depth dial set to 8. Loosen the locking handle and pivot the head upward. Match the slots in the cutting head to align with the machine. Snap the cutting head on and tighten the security screw. Then pivot the head back down and re-engage the locking handle. Then set the depth dial. We'll press start and the machine will proceed to cut the V-groove. Then it will pause. So we can clear the debris and see that the computer is now prompting us to set the depth dial to 14 for the interior cut. We'll do that and click start again. This concludes the setup and testing of our Valiani cutting machine.